what is up everyone, Soractor K here, welcome back to Minecraft. I know it's been a while, I did it again, I switched out of F5. Anyway, <laughs> I know it's been a while since uh, the last Minecraft video, and I do have an explanation for that. You see, um, well I've, I've lost my train of thought, okay, so <laughs> uh, about the time that I would have gotten it started back up, uh, me and my siblings happened to... Uh, acquire or rather free up a spare computer to use and uh, had the idea to turn it into a little Minecraft server. So that's what we've done and this is what this is. This is the Minecraft server world. This is the spawn area. As you can see I've already built this little thing uh, saying where the center of the spawn area is which is actually important because on a server uh, there's a protected area that is minimum I think two by two blocks. So this is an area that only OPs can manage, and I am actually an OP because I uh, I set up some things. But anyway, um, <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm uh, kind of discontinuing the uh, single player let's play because, let's be honest, playing on a server is way cooler. So uh, that's what it's going to be. It's a relatively small server, just uh, my three brothers, a sister-in-law, and a couple friends, my roommate included. And so uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, and uh, one other quick thing to mention is that I've also got a new monitor, which you might notice uh, this video is, well, if you have a high resolution display, you might notice that it's a bit crispier than usual. But of course, Minecraft only shows so much crispiness. So, <laughs> uh, you know, depends on uh, who you, who you, uh, what you've got. But yeah, so I've got my I got myself a 27 inch quad HD monitor around Christmas time. Found a good deal and uh, uh, was uh, persuaded by that deal to to upgrade my monitor, and it's super nice. And with that upgrade, I'm pretty much well probably going to be uploading all my videos in quad HD. Although I've realized how much space it takes up, so I'm not entirely sure. I might downscale it to 1080p. But my figuring is that it's going to be downscaled by YouTube anyway, and so if I can just let them do all the downscaling, uploading, upload it native, and then let them do all of that stuff, then it'll uh, yield the best quality. But we'll see. We'll see what my storage can manage. But with all of that out of the way, um, actually, I want to go over here and kill this spider. I don't know why, actually. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, well, shortly before I... Uh, uh, started recording this little bit. I I heard a spider. Actually, you know what? That's that's enough uh, monsters. I, I'm not really feeling like that. <laughs> Instead, what I'll, what I'll do is just uh, cut to a little uh, little thing that we did. Because uh, this spawn area, for one, the center area is only uh, modifiable by OPs, as I mentioned, which is kind of inconvenient for when you're wanting to build an area and build bases and things and so what we and plus it's in the middle of the ocean it's a tiny little island and surrounded by other tiny islands and so what we did is uh pretty much the first thing we we did on the server was we uh all hopped on together hopped in boats and looked around surveyed various areas and decided on a place to settle so what i'm gonna show you now is just some clips from that some highlights and then I'll show you where we've settled and what we've got so far, kind of. I've built more since then, but <laughs> that'll all be uh, shown in a later video. So, with that out of the way, let's get on to the exploration. Mushroom Island is, I typed it in chat. Okay, gotcha. Ish, the center. Okay, let's see. Uh, negative nine hundred seven fifty. Okay, you guys ready to ready to roll? Okay, so we let's see negative nine hundred. Wait, hang on. Uh, Got to get my bearings. West spawn. Uh, west. Wow, 
Someone, where uh, where did you get to? I don't I don't see you anywhere. Oh well. You said it was negative nine hundred seven fifty. Oh, freaking! I've I've been going negative. I've I've been going to negative nine hundred negative seven fifty. That's not going to okay. be correct. <laughs>
down. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Wow. <laughs> I was going to try to fight the skeleton, but uh, <laughs> now that he's down there. Okay, I killed it. Um, hey, hey Brian, while you're down there, are, are you still back at spawn? Uh, I'm pretty close there, yeah. Okay, do you... Uh, what's the bed situation like? Like, could you grab some beds or just some wool for beds? Yeah. That might be good. Maybe if there's enough iron, you could oh, just fine. shear some sheep. That's like the one thing you always taught me, Danny, and I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> so what did Anisha do? Uh, the broke the cardinal rule of Minecraft, I'm guessing. <laughs> well, I was just digging for some uh things. Mhm. Mm and oh that's my. what they all say. <laughs> Should we just uh, boat on, as you said. You know, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think that's a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> Run away! Another boat. You can just hop in this one. I've got one. Hmm. It seems. <laughs>
Okay, okay, okay. So then what do, what do the parrots do? Other than look so, cool. They follow you around and they they stand on your shoulder. How do, how do I get him to stand on my shoulder? Ah! He's standing on my shoulder! <laughs> oh, dang it. I, mo I moved around too much. Yeah, if you jump, they won't go on your shoulder. They'll come off. Come on. Come on, buddy, buddy. Come on, hop on my shoulder. You have to, like, walk Please. past it. Oh. Weird. Okay, Where, where'd my parrot go? That there he is. Hey, mate. There you go. Yeah, boy, what's up? I got a parrot on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we really should settle in the jungle if everyone else is okay with that. Yeah, that's that's cool with me. What do you guys think? Um, Leon and Michael and Brian and Danny. I have no objection the way I want. Hmm? Mm. I'm fine with a jungle. <clears throat> Rightio then. Woot. So we will settle maybe on the <clears throat> Hmm. Well let's see. You in the jungle then, so we can pick out a spot in the jungle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was probably thinking like just near the shore. And then expand outward. Mm hmm Or inward. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> outward from the shore uh -huh. towards the middle. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, another blue one. Nice. <laughs> you should probably tame this one so that it's not confusing. <laughs> Or I should say another dark blue one. Hmm. You can have up to two parrots on your shoulders. Hmm. Mm hmm. But where you already have a dark blue one, if I also had a dark blue, well, I guess, I guess that the parrots themselves weird. would would know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are dark Let's go, ones, buddy boy. The light blue. There we ones. go. And then there's these like red macaw-like ones, and then there are mm. gray ones that look like parakeets. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Double parrots. <laughs> now, what they really need to do is make it so that the parrots actually act like parrots and, like, mm -hmm. repeat after you. <laughs> yes, that would be funny. <laughs> hmm? They do repeat sounds that they hear in-game. They do? Oh, really? Huh. Well, that's interesting. I know okay. That, um, Let's do a single creeper. It'll sound great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's really fun is if you put them next to a jukebox that's playing, they will wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <guess>. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Man, I am just <laughs> super aimless right now. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and smelt up some sand. Why not? Ooh. And... Yeah, see, I would go ahead and get started on my actual base. But mm -hmm. then I have to find a location for it. <laughs> yeah. And that's the real trick, isn't it? I think if we make like just a general building nearby then we'll be able to like bed somewhere and then we can start building our own areas mm -hmm. yeah
Let's see, are you are you nearby, Anisha? Yes. Needs need a design opinion. Okay. Putting a skylight in here, wondering what to do to just like have it be the perimeter or like Actually the perimeter would look really cool. And then just fill this in with uh Yes. Wood. Okay. Yes. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, little highlight thing. I just barely recorded the the pre-highlight reel uh, section, but uh, now that I've edited that in, in the future... Oh, right, I need a new uh, shovel. In retrospect, it would have been smart to craft that up uh, while... before continuing uh, with the other stuff. But anyway, okay, so my first main project on this server is going well aside from this i built this by the way doesn't it look great <laughs> hashtag uh, shameless uh, plug if, if you can call it that but yeah look at it. it's got the skylights and torches on up top the torches up top actually don't look that great but anyway so let's well here's what i'm gonna do no 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 we're going to build it in this area it's a chicken cooker i'm gonna build a chicken cooker <laughs> By the way, <laughs> my plans for this, for my base on this server, super grand. Like, <laughs> by far, the uh, most expensive and fanciest looking base that I've ever done. So, hopefully you're excited for that. I am. Uh, I've, I just recently put together a spreadsheet, kind of figuring out how many resources I have. And, you know what? I just remembered something that I was going to show you at the end of this video. So, let's go ahead and do this. So... I guess the chicken cooker isn't my first big project, because I've already built one uh, that was pretty significant. So here, um, so if you look at our coordinates, you can see that we're pretty darn far away from the center of this world. And so it took, it took quite a while to get here by boat and to find it in the first place. So to make it easier for um, those who weren't with us on the expedition, I've built a little uh, nether nether hub so this whole thing I built this whole tunnel going all the way uh, between spawn and the uh, main area now I am assuming we have a button on the other side yes we do okay good so so we can access the public area of the of the or the open area of the nether but if you if you're not interested in that and just want to get back to spawn you can hop here dispenses a minecart and then it launches you and sends you all the way back to spawn and the, here's the cool thing um, it it had it's it automatically puts the minecart back in the dispenser and it'll also check and make sure that the minecart is occupied before sending it away if it's not occupied then it'll just loop it back and it'll be broken by the cactus put back in the dispenser the reason for that is because um, Occupied minecarts go much further. They they retain velocity a lot better than unoccupied minecarts, and so I have the I have three powered rails every roughly 39 blocks, which is a long way to go without being powered. But it's actually enough, uh, as it turns out. But not for an unoccupied minecart. So we don't want to have any unoccupied minecarts getting on the track and, and blocking things. So and that's why we have that. And that is handled by this little tripwire hook. Um, down below there, there's some redstone that goes down and uh, will... Actually, there. It'll <laughs> send it right back there if it's not occupied, which which can come in handy because uh, you might accidentally uh, 
sit on those. I also have all of these cobblestone slabs to prevent zombie pigmen from getting in this area and slabs all across the the minecart track to prevent the same uh, because it's really annoying if you're just going along on your minecart and a zombie pigman is standing on your uh, on your minecart track. So then we come over here, hop through the nether portal, and then we are back at spawn. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know what you think, if you have any suggestions for projects on the server or, or whatnot. And uh, yeah, looking at the wall is really weird. <laughs> it's even weirder if you look into the slabs. Yeah, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I will figuratively see you in the next one.